Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to craft a tactical combat encounter for your consideration. Last episode we created a fantastic interconnected city map full of automated shops. Then we, last episode before that we created fantastic factions. Here's the Senate, a coalition of lords and adventurers and guilds and clergy. Here is the Iron Pact, this coalition of different tribes from the underdark these ogres trolls and goblins hobgoblins and deep gnomes here we have the raiders a segment of the iron pact made up of hobgoblins and goblins they're goblin archers goblin warlock goblin crushers goblin duelists hobgoblins hobgoblin warlords all ambushing our three players our three players is randall first a level five fighter then we have Morthos, a level five sorcerer then we have Quithane, a level 5 ranger. These three are going to be facing off against these, against this strike force of raiders. Any sane player, any, any player with the hint of wisdom would just give up. This is too difficult for any player to overcome. But maybe, maybe using the right magic and the right tactics, our players can pull it off. I want you to place a guess right now. Who do you think will win? It's difficult to say. Place your guess here. Initially, the hobgoblins are going to hold back. They're going to use their discipline. They're going to use their tactics. They're going to set up a screen of arrows. They're going to cover. They're going to let the goblins charge forward, and they're going to use their bows, their longbows, and fire down at our heroes, striking them from afar, exploiting their martial advantage to increase the damage. These are smart enemies. They're well-coordinated, well-disciplined, and we got to, got to exploit those tactics. Next, our Warlord is going to hang back and use his leadership in order to boost the effectiveness of his soldiers. He's, he's, he doesn't want to get in there and get killed. If he gets killed, the Hobgoblins and the Goblins, they might run. They might perform a disorderly retreat. He needs to make sure they, they don't do that, and he needs to make sure he stays alive. That's the only way that disorderly retreat, that's how you prevent it. Our Hobgoblin Warlord is going to charge to the front, and he is going to activate leadership. This will boost all of the friendly units around him, the goblins and the hobgoblins. They're going to increase the attack bonus by 1d4 and improve their ability check by 1d4 as well. He's taking a prominent frontline position because he has plate armor. He has a high armor class. And by taking a frontline position, he'll extend that boost, that aura of buffing to all of his soldiers. At least the soldiers in his coalition, his group, his strike force here. There's another squad to the north and another squad to the east. Now we have the Goblin Crushers coming in there with their mace. Our player has to make a decision. This ranger decides to go with the ranger Hunter's Mark. Great, it's a great spell for taking on big enemies, but against small enemies it's not as effective. There it is. A longbow takes him out in one shot. I mean, he doesn't even have a chance to use the ranger's mark. He doesn't kill the next one, yeah. It's just unfortunate. But he does have Colossus Slayer, which might do the difference. He rolls low. Shoot, that's very, very unlucky. Now, Quithan is pretty smart. He can read the tea leaves here. One against, like, what, 20? One against 20, three against 20. It's not going to work out. So that's why he's going to be going towards the top. The hope is that if he can defeat the top squadron, he can perform a successful funneling of the rest of the hobgoblins and goblins and he'll let the sorcerer be able to kill them. Look at the sorcerer. He's lining up a lightning bolt here. A lightning bolt might kill that warlord if he rolls maximum roll. A max roll damage might do the trick. Uh, I, I accidentally hit the... Uh, I accidentally hit <laughs> to cast the spell. So you'll notice that one of the level 3 spells is already gone. That's a mistake. It's still there. So here it is. He's lining up that lightning bolt. Don't worry if it's a little bit crooked right now. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move the sorcerer up there. So he, it, it's like a, it's like a coming, coming, ha, coming out of his hands, striking all those guys. It, it kills the mount, throws the warlord onto the ground, it kills that crusher in front of him. He's doing a great job. Now, and your turn. There's a warlock, and like all great warlocks, even a stupid goblin warlock is gonna have the the strength. We gonna fire off a shot at our fighter. It's gonna miss. Fighter has great armor class. But there's the duelist going in, trying to kill our ranger, trying to kill Quithane. First one's a hit miss. He has a multi attack, he has two. That's why he has two blades. Second one's gonna hit, does a little bit of damage. Concentration is maintained, so you can recast that Hunter's Mark. But is it even worth it? 
That's a question that only you can answer. Next we have that Shama. He's going to be able to cast a little... Uh, yeah, he's not going to cast Healing Ward on uh, on, our, on our fighter. He's going to go ahead and cast Poison Spray. He's got to get up close. Now, if he does a Thunder Wave, well, maybe he might be he might be stupid enough to do it. But unfortunately, he's right next to the Warlord. He might get his head chopped off if he does that. So, yeah, he, he can read the tea leaves. He's not going to do that kind of crazy play. He does it. He manages to hit. Now we see the Hobgoblins. They're performing that defensive screen. They are performing their role as Overwatch with those longbows. They're going to miss. That's okay. Now, this is critical. Now, our fighter has to make the right decision here. First decision is second win. He's going to increase his hit points. Try to extend for one more turn. Try to get off a few more attacks. There's one attack. Boom. One, one hit, one kill. Now, can he do the same thing with the Shaman? And, oh, it's a hit again with a critical... Boom! Two hits, two kills. Now he goes, he activates Action Surge. Now he gets another two attacks because he has extra attack. He's going in for the Duelist. If he can one hit, one kill here, he might be able to save this entire fight. What he's got to do is protect his Spellcasters, protect his Rangers, get them to get north. Just fight through those Hobgoblins, fight through that last Goblin Archer. If he can do that, if he can line up the perfect Lightning Bolt, we can win this fight. Here's another arrow shooting at our lovely fighter. It misses. He has a great shield. Another arrow. Knocking in his longbow. Firing it off. Even with the leadership bonus. I'm going to hit. Alright, here comes the goblin archer. It's a fire. He fires it off. And, oh, it's going to hit. That's a little bit of damage. And he's going to back off. He's pretty afraid right now. Especially with all those one hit one kills. Now seeing that the goblins have been completely terminated, the hobgoblins are going to charge in. They're going to maintain discipline here. They're going to go in formation. They're not going to rush in. These guys are disciplined. Not, they're not like the goblins. Hobgoblins are a much different species. Here comes the next one. He's going to maintain formation. He's going to fire off a, butt, fall off a bolt. He's going to target the spellcaster now, realizing that he is the main threat. The fighter, you can take care of him easily. Here comes the next hobgoblin coming up right behind, trying to maintain formation. Now this one's going to have a little bit of cover. So I use that nice cover automation that I already, already described how we use it in my top 10 modules videos. Just check out top 10 world building modules, top 10 comment modules. I'll walk you through the entire process. But yeah, that gives him an automatic armor class bonus by subtracting from the hit roll dice. All right. Now here we're firing off two more arrows from that last remaining squadron to the north. They're looking pretty precarious. One, two, three hits and they're gone potentially. Now the Warlock dismounts. He was already thrown from his mount because the mount was killed by the lightning bolt. So he's going to pick up a forward position. He knows that this, this is critical right now. If his troops fail to corral these units, they might be able to they might be able to rebound. They might be able to come back. But here it is. Randall I think has gone down. Randall has gone down. He's unconscious. It might be over. If Morthos, oh my goodness, Morthos is just is hanging by a thread here. If if two people go down, the fight is over. There's no way one ranger is going to be able to handle all this this entire situation. See, the ranger is completely flabbergasted. He doesn't even know what to do. He's looking for items. He finds the potion of healing. He makes a great decision, reviving that fighter. There it is, 7 HP, a flash of green, another one of our modules that we've enabled just to add some more flair to our combat encounters. Now, here's a very controversial subject. And that is retreating from the fight when you know you've lost. But your companions are going to die here. You could stay in it and try to preserve their lives. Try to preserve them from being prisoners. But honestly, the best kind of option here is to just to retreat. Just to get out of there. Come back and rescue them. Get some reinforcements. Go to the city. Get the guards. Get Alert the lords. Alert the adventurers. Get someone else to help you. You can't go 1 versus 20 here and try to save your friends. Even though it's the hero move, you gotta play smart. Unless, of course, you want to kill your character. That's fine. So the Warlock's gonna come in. He's using his Eldritch Blast on the Sorcerer. It's gonna miss. He fumbles. The last top goblin coming in. And he's gonna maintain formation. And he's gonna fire off a little longbow. He misses. Great. And. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, second one recharging. Don't worry about that. Second one recharges on a short 
pressed. I have an automation set up so I know not to use second wind. Okay. He's going to take two free attacks because of that great decision to heal him. He could have killed the warlord here. The hobgoblins and goblins might have retreated. Might have been that might be the circumstances for one of those courage tests. But unfortunately, Randall failed the critical strikes. He failed to do it. Pop off and come in. Ooh, I think that's what's going to take Randall down. There comes the archer. He's going to knock an arrow. He's going to fire it off a of Quithane. Two hobgoblins in the way. Gotta be three fourths cover. Firing off a bolt. That's going to be a miss. Hobgoblins charging in, surrounding our sorcerer. If the sorcerer can hold out until his turn, maybe, maybe there might be something. Misty step onto the uh, onto the houses, or maybe some kind of visibility. It might be in the cards. That might have been a better way to play it in the beginning if we could travel back. Again. But unfortunately, that critical is going to strike, and he's history. He's gone. It might be the head flying away. Think about what would a hobgoblin do with prisoners? Would they just kill them for sport? These guys are pretty smart. They might try to ransom them. But who would pay for your ransom? Do you have any NPC friends? That's the kind of decision that players have to make in advance, if they're smart. Yep, so, two longsword strikes coming at them at Gwithani. He dodges them superbly. Oh my goodness, and there goes our fighter. Oops, uh, he has a multi-attack, so now I understand that I have three longsword strikes, so that's two now, one more. And this last one is going to be a hit. Yep. Randall goes down. There he goes, two companions, and now we have to make our final decision with the Elf Ranger. What is he even doing? Looking at those spells, is there even anything in there? No. It's time to dash, but unfortunately, since you're dashing, it's going to be an opportunity strike. It hits. Oh, deal some damage. But uh, it's it's worth it, right? Dan's going to get out of there. He's going to run, and uh, I'll come back, Randall. I'm going to call back. I'll come back, Morthos. I'll come back to rescue you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Would you have done anything differently? Let me know in the comment section below.